Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It is I, Fernando's Mermaid Books, and let me fix the camera. So, uh, okay, so you guys have been waiting for this video to go up, and it hasn't. It is my Q&A video. I asked you guys like a month ago, which I should have posted early, questions to ask me because I hit over 60 subscribers, and I just want to say I'm happy, and I'm just ecstatic that you guys have watched my videos from the start and I want to thank you guys for watching my crappy videos I just love you guys so much I the express the express the expression of how much I love you guys is so much is high up and I just love you guys so much and hopefully you follow me through my journey and my life and my years and my boring life so yeah, I'm finally gonna answer these questions for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the video. I will Answer all these questions and see you know what comes up what doesn't so yeah I mean there's a total of 10 questions. I am going to ask uh, To answer actually so stay tuned and I will see you guys at the outro Jay Shaughnessy asked what my favorite type of food is my favorite food has to be pasta. It just has to be because ever since I was a little kid, I loved salads and meat. And now I'm a vegetarian. I hit three months, by the way. I don't eat meat anymore, but I still eat pasta. Pasta's like my life. Spaghetti, pen, ravioli, all that type of pasta. Like, I love it. Alfredo, like, ugh, so good. Casper Blank also asked what my favorite type of food is. Um, yeah, thanks for the other question. It's the same one, but I'm still gonna answer it. I enjoy pasta, like I said in the first question. I just, pasta's life, like, oh, it's so good. I feel like eating pasta right now. And right now, the only pasta that I can't eat right now is like this lasagna because it consists in meat. But since I'm a vegetarian, I'm gonna try to make vegan lasagna, something like that. Vegetarian pasta, uh, lasagna, I don't know. But pasta is my number one. Laura Tixera asks me, what do I do besides reading on my free time? I guess what I like doing on my free time besides reading is playing my PS4. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a console where you could play games. Basically, it's kind of like the... the the, you know ps4 is the kind of like the equivalent to xbox um i play fortnite i play minecraft minecraft story mode sims 4 like all those good games uh yeah so right now i'm excited for what's happening in fortnite and the new game that's coming out for the walking dead stacy loves to read asked if i could travel anywhere in the world where would it where would i go and why I would love to travel to Japan. Ever since I was a young boy, I started watching Pokemon since I I don't remember when, but I know that my mom has, you know, when I was born, she started putting this Pokemon TV show. It was good, the Indigo series. And so from then on forth, I started watching Pokemon, you know, all the time. And right now I'm still watching the TV show and I'm almost 21, but, I want to go to Japan because I feel like I just want to discover a new world and so the Pokemon creator lives in Japan and Japan is crazy about Pokemon and so I just want to go to Japan because of that but not just because of that I want to visit the forest the forests there are so beautiful there's like pink trees uh, pink rivers there's so much it's advanced Japan is so advanced the technology there is crazy and so I just want to go there and explore for like a month if I could stay there just live my life in Japan and maybe move there if I can but I just want to go to Japan Japan has been my number one go like travel goal since like day one Lisa the cute girl moi asked what future plans I have for my booktube okay so my future plans for my booktube um it's a lot. I am actually trying to make my be my booktube channel better. I really just want to make it better because, you know, since the start, my HD in my videos ha was horrific. And then it progressed better. 
Um, I tried doing thumbnails. Right now, what I want to do is hopefully in the future I move out of here because my room is just so little. I just want to move into a bigger space and have my books in the background. That's what I want to do. One of my goals is put my books in the background so you guys could just see and not just the walls and everything. Another thing I want to do is buy a camera, like a, you know, a camera camera because right now I'm always recording on my phone and not that I don't like it, I do like it, but I just want to have a camera. And then I want to upload my videos through my computer I don't do that right now I do that by my phone all of this is by my phone so I want to get a camera like I don't know what they're called GoPros I'm I stuck at cameras try to learn it you know go online edit on the, on the computer find files like that upload my videos through my computer and my camera and it'll be all set and make my HD better that's what I want to do right now so far for the future of booktube what I want to do is save money to buy a camera and then save money to get a computer and then after that I will make everything good so for now y'all will you know still watch my videos in sucky HD because of my phone so yeah Fabiola Winfield asked what my favorite genre of book I like to read my favorite type of genre has to be fantasy, no doubt, because fantasy has been there for me since like as long as I can remember because I read Narnia, Narnia was a fantasy, Bridget Terabithia, I've read so many other fantasies and so far right now in my life I'm still enjoying fantasy because of these mermaid books, Lunar Chronicles, Mortal Instruments, it all has fantasy and I just love fantasy. I don't know what it is about fantasy that I love, it's just fantasy has been there for me since day one and so don't get me wrong, I love all genres, like I love mystery, science fiction, I love contemporary, I love romance, but fantasy has to be my number one. Alantia Ashcroft asked what inspired me to start reading books. My inspiration for reading has to be when I was younger. Um, I basically am grateful for my mom. Uh, I am appreciative towards her because ever since I was a little boy I never really did anything in my life um like at the age of what five six seven I never really I was always shy I never really wanted to meet people and so like there were video games there were phones back then DS's Game Boys but when my mom took me to a library for the first time in my life, I felt so appreciative towards her because she showed me a world where I can't even imagine. And as soon as I started picking out books, as soon as I got home, I started picking all the books up and I started reading them all. And so my inspiration comes from my mother and the library that she took me to because without that moment that I had with my mother, I don't know if I would still be here right now reading books because I don't know. Ever since my mom took me to the library, that spark of books just hit me. And then in elementary school, I was like, Narnia, this and that and this and that. The Caterpillar, middle school, grade, you know, Twilight, all of that stuff. And so I'm here today because of my mom. So thanks, mom. I love you. Casper Blank asks, start a gaming channel? Okay, now, this question is a little hard because I'm actually trying to make a gaming channel but it's a lot of effort because, you know, besides reading, I love playing video games and I love Fortnite right now. And Fortnite is like a trend right now. So I want to make a booktube, uh, I mean, a gaming channel, but maybe it's a good idea if I just combine my booktube and my gaming together. And this time I'm going to work on schedules. Like, let's say Monday through Fridays, I make booktube videos and then the weekend I make... Fortnite, Minecraft, gaming videos, like, I want to do that, but right now my life is so hectic and busy with school and work and just life in general that I don't have time to really play that much and then record and then edit it and then do all that stuff, so for now, I'm still in the process of thinking about adding games to my channel because, you know, everyone loves games, so for now, I still have that in mind. It's not gonna leave my mind. I really just want to add it so I will let you guys know if I do end up making games for my channel so that way it'll be equal towards books and games. Yes. Lisa the cute girl moi asked what I would buy with two grand. Okay if I had two thousand dollars like let's see here's two grand Fernando I would buy books. <laughs> Nonetheless, I would, I mean, I would replace the bookshelf I have here, the brown one that you guys see, 
uh, always in my videos. I want to replace it with a better one because it wasn't really a bookshelf at the start to begin with. It was more of a wardrobe and so I made it into a bookshelf and right now it's slanted and broken. I just want to like buy a new bookshelf. Um, I want to like put books on my wall like that invisible shelf and uh, you know the top shelf the hanging shelves I want to make books everywhere so of course I'm gonna buy bookshelves and remodel my room into like a bookshelf galore and then buy books so yeah everything that has to do with books I am going to buy Ashley Castellanos asked how many books I have in total okay now everyone's been asking me how many books I have um, I have a lot but I do have them in count. A lot of booktubers really aren't like they don't know how many books they have. But I'm a very OCD person when it comes to books. Like I have a whole binder full of information. Oof, it's dusting. Um, of my books. So like I have a section where it's standalones. I have a section where it's duologies, trilogies, series, and I just have a a section just for how many books I have in total. So as you can see, it's a big mess. Not really a mess. I have it organized, but I have. Let me show you guys how many books I got. It's in my mix section. Where's how many books together? So I have. New York ambulances um, I have 691 books so I'm very organized as you can see let me get it out of the binder I have I don't know if you guys could see 691 books so I have a collection of 691 books that's crazy but it's not stopping there my goal was 500 books now it's a thousand if I could hit a thousand I'm gonna make another goal but that's how many books i got okay guys there you go finally i released my q a video it's been so long but uh, um that's the end of the video so why is he looking at me um that's the video so far hopefully when i hit 100 subs i'm gonna make a q a i'm gonna make a giveaway and a dare challenge so if we hit 100 that's my next goal 100 subscribers i will do a q a a giveaway and a dare challenge so yeah guys can't wait and right now i'm at 60 something subscribers still so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i had tons of fun answering all your beautiful questions and i will see you guys in another video me and city of fallen angels say goodbye bye guys love y'all <laughs>